Time for Truth or Fake. Catalina's by the big board. Good evening to you, Catalina. Now, you've got a video here. Some users claiming that, that it shows uh, leaked IDF footage, IDF being Israeli Defence Force footage, uh, from the Nova Music Festival. That was the one that was attacked uh, in horrific circumstances on October the 7th. Uh, tell us what this is purporting to show. That's right, Marka. Let's take a look at the extremely viral video. It's been viewed over 30 million times on X already since it's been published. On November 9th, we have the video right here. Uh, that is a video that is 14 seconds long. It's an infrared military uh, Air Force video where we also see the logo of the IDF on the far right. And it seems to show an IDF pilot shooting at targets on the ground uh, from an Air Force helicopter. Uh, so let's take a look at the main account that are sharing uh, this video. We have this post by Syrian Girl that's been seen over 28,000, uh, 28 million times on X already since it's been published. Uh, the post reads, a breaking Israel admits Apache helicopters fired on their own civilians running from the Supernova Music Festival. Then others take these claims even further and they claim that this these images that we see are leaked images uh, footage from the idf as they claim bombshell leaked footage from the israeli air forces prove it was the idf that took out on its own uh, civil citizens with apache helicopters on october 7th at the music festival so a video that they show that they pretend to show idf pilots shooting at their own civilians mark the death toll at the Supernova Music Festival was immense and uh, it was horrific uh, what we saw there and what happened there. Um, what does this video really show, Catalina? Well, Mark, the video is real, but uh, these claims are fake and uh, misleading. Uh, first of all, contrary to these claims, this video does not show IDF leaked footage. The IDF uh, published this footage themselves on their official account on X. On October 9th, we have uh, the publication here for you where they show a compilation of images showing Israeli Air Force attacks being carried out on the Gaza Strip against Hamas terrorists. And uh, towards the end of the compilation, as you can see, it's a two-minute compilation. Here we found the same Im images as the ones that are being shared in the fake claims. This information uh, that they publish on X was also confirmed to us by the IDF via WhatsApp, where they say that the video shared on their account shows attacks in the Gaza Strips against Hamas a terrorist. They also uh, explain that more specifically, they were shooting at terrorists that were trying to penetrate into Israel. Then also contrary to the claims, uh, the video did not take place anywhere uh, near the Nova Festival grounds or Israeli grounds uh, as demonstrated by Geo Confirmed. Uh, the video that was in the viral claims uh, actually took place uh, 10 kilometers away uh, from the Nova Music Festival. It took place in this area right here close to the Gaza Strip, uh, close uh, to these two kibbutz that are close uh, to the Gaza Strips. Uh, so what 10 kilometers away one from another uh, hence a video that has no relation with the nova music festival whatsoever mark so um disinformation misinformation based on israeli defense force testimony from the day of the attacks um do explain that's right, Marco. Following the Hamas attacks on Israel that took place on October 7th, there are many testimonies that came out to speak to Israeli media. Here we have one from N12 and Ynet, uh, reported on N12. Uh, these testimonies were IDF uh, pilots and first, of, uh, first responders to the Hamas attacks that day. Uh, they explained to Israeli media how difficult it was from the air uh, to distinguish between uh, terrorists and civilians or between kidnappers and those who were being uh, kidnapped in the combat arena. Uh, they explain in these articles uh, that what they saw at the beginning of this air operation was complete chaos. Uh, and in fact, here report by, reported by Haritz, a journalist on X, who says that this 48-year-old man that we see in this picture was killed by the IDF uh, after being mistakenly uh, confused, identified as a terrorist uh, on that day in the Nahal Oz uh, kibbutz. So due to the chaos, chaos that day, the risk of killing civilians uh, was not non-existent, unfortunately. Mark. Catalina. With tooth or fake, thank you very much indeed.